An app that I've used for almost five years has released an update that saves me almost a full hour every single morning. And here's an example of just one of the workflows that I'll show you. I gave it a really simple prompt. Basically, it just had my goal and the plans that I wanted to do for me to update pages for me, refresh my entire database for me, and actually give me the results for review in a single document called Daily Update Summary. And this AI agent basically created an entire plan for itself. Then it looked through my entire database, over 70 different documents here, and then it updated the things that needed updating. And then it created a document for me. And on the bottom here, it says exactly what it did. I created a daily summary for you with links to each of the pages that had updates. If I click this link, it's created this entire document for me with links to everything that has been updated and a quick detail on the bottom. This is called Notion AI Agent. And I partnered with Notion for this video to show you exactly how this new AI agent works inside of my exact workflow, inside of my real company here, and how I use it every day to automate real day-to-day -day tasks. Now, I've been using Notion for a very long time, and it basically lets me keep everything in my company organized in one place. This is the release of Notion version 3.0. And they've released something completely new called Notion Agents. These are not at all like normal chatbots or any type of writing assistant. These are basically like AI teammates. They could actually complete the entire work for you end to end inside of your own Notion workspace. And as I showed you in the beginning, the agent actually forms a plan based on your prompt. And then it goes through the multi-step tasks, edit multiple different pages as needed, updates your database, and it could also connect to some tools like Google Drive, if you have some data there, your Slack, your Gmail, to pull in all the context you need in one place to help you finish the task completely end to end. Now, I think the best way to show you how it works is to show you real demos. So my actual workflow here, I put it into multiple different demos for you to show you practical examples. Now, inside of my Notion account here, in the age of AI, it's become so much more useful and practical because even before the AI agent, I had the ability to use the regular Notion AI to actually interact with anything that I had to find things quickly. So I took the time to put all the different companies I have and I work with inside of different folders and organize everything we have inside of different Notion docs. So this is how it's able to be so powerful. But on top of that, it will connect to other things where I do have resources like Google Drive and Gmail and Slack too. Now I'm gonna jump into this tab, Notion AI here, and I'm gonna use the Notion AI agent right through the chat box right over here. Now, before you use the agent, make sure your Notion workspace has access to the Notion AI feature. So I'm in the business plan, the business and enterprise plans, get the full set of tools too. So they get connectors like Slack and Google Drive, and they will be able to sync that in a day or two across all your different documents. So it becomes a super centralized knowledge base for everything. Now, the first demo I'll show you here, and I'll walk you through my prompt in detail, is Project Kickstart. So anytime I have a new project that I wanna start, I use this prompt here inside of Notion. So I just said, create a new project inside of our directory, the Skill Leap directory, and I give it a name startup mentor launch plan. And then I told it exactly what I need done. I want a well-structured project page with clear sections. And then I explain each section here. This way it kind of creates a templated format for me that I have in every project kickstart. It generates a simple timeline of key milestones for us. It creates a task list. It assigns it to the people I want to assign it to. Right now I just assign it to myself. And then at the end I said, draft a short project overview explaining the purpose of this plan and then when you're done give me the summary of what you created and link to the new page so this is what i'm asking the agent to do for us now you'll see some other resources here if you want this is already going to go to work but if you wanted to manually add any context you can pull in anything here it is not required as the agent will be able to look inside of your whole directory but this is always available to you if you for some reason wanted to change the model that is working in the background, you can do that. I usually leave it on auto, but if you do like other AI models that is available here. And you could also turn on other resources here. So if you have any apps and integrations, you could actually bring that in. I'll show you that in a little bit here on how to do that. You could also decide to bring in web search or turn it off so it just stays more self-contained here and doesn't look on the web. But we'll go ahead and connect apps and do that in a different example right now. All these things that I asked it to do are inside of my Notion. I don't need any external tools for it. Now, the very first thing you'll notice here that's different is that Notion agents actually complete things 
end to end the entire task. So I don't have to actually provide any type of replies, right? Agent will form the plan. It will search, it will read, it will decide, it will update, and it will notify me when it's all done, right? It actually handles all the steps, all the multi-step tasks get done and it will edit things for me too. So this option right here, it says allow edits. It can edit one or multiple pages. It could update my entire data list if it needs to. And I just had to give it that goal and basically let it go to work. Okay, now let me show you exactly what it did. It basically created an entire plan for itself. It created itself a checklist. It went through everything you needed to. And then it gave me a summary here. All set, I created this document for you inside of your directory and structure it this way based on my prompt. Here is the link to the new page. Let's go there. Okay, formatted exactly the way I want. Overview, goals, timeline, the different tasks here and assigned to me. I could have been more specific in my prompt, assigned different things to different people and it would have created that and assigned them automatically. The deliverables, the resources and the notes. And I actually have Notion AI that pops up here available. So anything I want to improve on this or change about this, I could just do that with a follow up prompt here. And this entire task, Took under two minutes here. I have that prompt saved as a template because every time I create a project, I do create it this way. And this creates this document for me, assigns it to the right people. Any tweaks I want to do, I just do it with a chat on the side with Notion AI. And that's another big difference with this because this Notion agent actually knows all the different Notion building blocks. So it could create pages, it could edit pages, right? Organize things, it could enrich your database, it could assign things to people, you could view things, pretty much all the different ways you could use Notion. Well, this knows how to do it. You don't actually have to learn Notion the old school way. And by the way, you could always undo any changes because you are giving the agent a lot of control here to do things for you, but you could trust it to do important work because you know if anything goes wrong, you could always undo it easily. Now, the second demo I wanna show you, I call it the SOP Finder and Refresher. Basically what it does is the Notion AI agent could find any SOP that is relevant to the topic I'm searching for. In this case, it's about our course production workflow. We have multiple instructors, so I've documented exactly how we create courses from video uploading to publishing, everything, all the steps are created. But I wanna make sure they're up to date and I wanna make sure I have them all in one place so I could easily onboard someone in how we do things when I bring on a new instructor here. So for this one, I actually wanted to keep my prompt simpler because the Notion AI agent will still create a plan and do a pretty good job. So I have a simple prompt sometimes and sometimes I really spell out what I want done if I know what I want done very specifically like the previous prompt. But this one says, find all the SOPs in my workspace related to course production, create a new page called course production SOP list and group everything by topic. Add a short note under each one if anything looks out of date and link back to the original pages. Now, I wanna show you another thing here that you could do, which you'll see right underneath this right here. It says, get better answers from your apps. So if you click here, this is what I have with my business plan. So I could actually get it to link to other things. Now I have a lot of things inside of my Google Drive, especially a lot of different scripts. Maybe some SOPs are there. We try to keep it organized here, but let's go ahead and click on this. And here it will just walk you through confirming that connection. Sometimes it will take up to 36 hours to sync everything, especially if you have a large database here inside of your Google Drive. But that is one of the apps that I recommend you connect, especially if you keep things there. They have Google Calendar here. You could also connect Gmail. And a couple other settings here that I wanted to also show you. You can, if you want, turn off web search. So it's on by default. So it can allow the AI to go look for up-to-date information when answering your questions. But if you don't want that, I know some people just want to keep their information contained and not give it web access, you can always turn that off here and basically just interact with your knowledge base. And once you do connect anything, you can always right here, choose to use apps and integration or not to use them. You could always do that with web search too, just right inside of chat. Okay, this time he created a new document for us, course production SOP list, let's go there. It's a very nice and organized document that I could share with someone from planning to content creation, to post-production, publishing, and all the different SOPs related to that. He found out if anything was updated and when it was updated. So this was updated eight months ago. So it's giving me a suggestion on how I would want to update that. In some cases, it's telling me that this one is older, for example. 
this note says this is updated recently it looks current so in just maybe one minute i got something i could share with anyone and most importantly if something is outdated it's telling me that it's outdated so i could go review it and make sure if i want to make any changes i can i could always bring the notion ai agent back up here too to make any changes relevant to anything that i just asked about now this next example is how i keep a lot of my information nice and organized inside a notion but i let the notion ai agent do the work so I went to this really long document I have. This is a script for one of our courses on digital marketing. And I just copied all the information here, all the different sections. And I brought it over to Notion. And all I wrote here is add a new parent page for this course and organize everything by chapters. Then create individual pages for each lesson and organize them in order and I just pasted the entire script that I just copied and over and send this out and in a couple of minutes it created this page for us so the entire course structure on top and then a link to all the different lessons here which before this I used to literally have to create individual pages format them organize them copy and paste it created all these individual pages and if I go to any one of these pages like this it has the script from that nicely formatted right it has the heading it has the subheading everything is organized into bullet points into numbered list and it's all ready to go now my ai agent has access to all this information inside of notion in this case the connection to google drive was fine but i love to have everything nice and organized here in this format i mean this is just nice and easy and it really ties nicely to my next example too now, before I show you the next demo, there's an option here that also lets you personalize everything to you. So you'll see that option right on top. This allows your agent to learn your style and the way you like to work. So you could set up different profile pages and tell your agents on how to behave. This could be shortcuts, the format you want it to respond in, any type of content for reference. And as you work, you ask your agent to remember things and it will automatically update the profile page with what are called memories here and you could always edit that at any time so with this writer agent i'm going to set up my instructions here they also have an entire template page here you could choose from so i'll choose the educational one here so this is what those pages look like i really like this one educational template this page will define the instruction the work style and the identity of this agent okay so you'll see kind of these are usually called system prompts where the agent knows exactly how to behave your patient educational committed to helping users so this is going to be good for my writer agent here and i could always edit those instructions when i come back to this personalization page i could just go ahead and edit and change anything on this page that i want to change and you could always go here and create your own agent too so it will just give you a template here and you just fill in the blanks on how you want but i like the templates they give you a guideline on how you can dress up these agents basically okay this last demo has saved me a ton of time and if you have a use case like this this is going to completely change how you work this is something i really haven't been able to find a good solution for in the last three years or so covering ai so this is what i'm going to do this demo i'm going to call it the knowledge base auditor okay and the skill leap example is a good one so skill leap is our learning platform and we have 30 courses there well the problem is every time a new ai tool comes out across dozens of courses different pages different lessons different scripts different instructors well they need regular updates right and that's been extremely hard to do for example our chat gpt course i think has gone through six different revisions and as of today it's out of date because a new model just came out right so i'm going to ask the ai agent to actually look into my entire knowledge base any type of connections that i have and try to figure out what is out of date. So let me give it this prompt. And my prompt says, search my entire course pages for anything that mentions ChatGPT4 or GPT4, create a page called outdated reference report and list everything you find. For each item, update the doc with GPT5 wording and link back to the original page. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with Dolly because ChatGPT doesn't call their image generation model Dolly inside of ChatGPT, that's another one. Google Gemini has come up with something new since the last release of our Google Gemini course. Notebook LM has some updates that I wanna go ahead and tweak, right? And this has web search, so it can cross-reference this information inside of my knowledge base with, 
what's actually new too. So that's another way to use it. Let me send this out. Okay, it created a nice summary page, which is actually my favorite way to use the agent. I wanna see a nice summary page here. And it told us exactly what it updated. In this case, it looks like we've already updated a lot of our information. So we only found stuff in our 14 day AI bootcamp. So the video script is giving me a link to the video script of rewarded the legacy model sentence to avoid GPT-4. New wording keeps it current with GPT-5 here. And if I click to that 14 day AI bootcamp script here, if I search for chat GPT-5, yeah, these are all the different times that is updated from chat GPT-4 to 5, keeping this up to date. Such a massive time saver, just this one example. They're also working on something called custom agents that are coming soon. So you'll be able to create specialized agents, these type of AI teammates that could automatically run on a trigger or on a schedule. And Notion also has plans on more connectors and a better mobile experience. And they're improving their personalization here with more options for memory and behavior too. So if you live inside a Notion, obviously this AI agent is a major upgrade. It feels like a real teammate that understands your workspace and your business and could actually act on it. And you could do something small like handling repetitive document creation or any type of database update that needs to happen on a recurring basis. And then you could use some of my examples and obviously expand based on your use case. And if you don't use Notion, that one example I showed you where I just took document from other things like Google Drive and had Notion create those pages, you can create a pretty robust Notion database now very quickly with the help of the agent. No more manually building one page at a time. This literally, I don't know, created like 30 pages for me with a simple prompt in two minutes. So it's made it a lot easier to get into the Notion ecosystem too. Thanks again for Notion for sponsoring this video. I love when I use a tool for many, many years and then I get to do a partnership like this with them on YouTube. I think it was a great fit. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you could use Notion AI agent for yourself. And I think you're gonna find it really, really beneficial. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.